most distributors don't service your music to radio, okay? That, that's a bit blurred there. Record labels will service your music to radio, TV, and media, okay? Distributors will work on retail, okay? So we need to sort of distinguish that, okay? Because they're two different things, and you know, you don't want to sign a deal with you thinking you're getting something and you don't get it. Some Otherwise, distributors do that, right? Um, some, yeah. But most of the time, a distribution deal does not include publicity, promotion, and marketing, which includes servicing to radio. Okay. We don't. We don't officially do it. We do, we um, we. Um, the shit hot ones. Yeah. 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 Shit hot. Yeah. 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 Well, I mean, we we Jackie went down just two weeks ago, and he was he was servicing all our um, distribution deals there. Um, um, but yeah, it's not something we officially do as part of the deal. So if you get it as an add-on, that's great, but don't expect it, I guess. So um, yeah, when you've got distributors interested in your band, I guess you need to look at, um, you know, you need to talk to that distributor and, and ask uh, what is it that they actually, uh, you know, do for your act. Um, you need to, um, you know, establish uh, exactly, uh, you know, how long the term of that particular relationship is going to last. You need to establish um, exactly what it is you're going to get paid per record and how long it's going to be before you get paid um, for your record sales. Um, you need to you know, establish what that distributor, um, you know, what, what they think in quantities they're going to be able to ship out there to retail based on the activity of the band. Um, you know, there's a number of things. I guess it's just a matter of making a list of questions and um, you know, getting those questions answered um, like any situation. And, um, you know, at the same time, it depends on the level of the deal. Um, if the deal is quite complex, um, then I would suggest, you know, get some get some legal advice. Um, I'm I'm not sure whether you still get legal advice through Q Music. Is that is that correct? Yeah, through Q Music, Music maybe you get to uh, have a consultation and ask legal advice. Yeah, which is definitely worthwhile. I mean, you know, there's some there's some things in distribution deals which, um, you know, aren't aren't easily aren't easy to understand. Sometimes it can be a little bit intimidating asking the distributor, you know, what does this mean in your contract? You know, you don't want to sometimes it's a bit embarrassing, so you know, get some legal advice and find out exactly what that clause is. Um, I'm doing two sixty five page contracts at the moment, I tell you what, it's an absolute pain in the ass. There's a lot of shit in it that I don't understand. But so, you know, there's things to look for that are going to actually get your band to the next level. So um, and fortunately you know, fortunately distribution is not too complicated, but uh, you know, there are little things that can, uh, you know, can hinder where you want to go. You want to, I mean, one, one of the most important things is, can I still sell CDs at gigs once I do a distribution deal with you? You know, that's a very important factor. And if so, how much can I buy those CDs for from you as a distributor to sell at my gigs? Because you want to make as much money as possible from those CD sales, because that's where you're going to put fuel in the car and food in your belly. So. That's one thing to clarify, which I think a lot of people, you know, straight away look beyond. Um, you shouldn't pay any more than a dollar fifty a CD, realistically, right? Around that sort of price. Um, that will come out of your share, okay? So if your if your distribution deal is is um, thirty five percent to the distributor, sixty five percent to you, then that that dollar fifty comes out of your share. So just be aware of that.